Hello, it is time for the Books in the Freezer readathon. It has started, it's Monday, it's about quarter past 4 p.m. <laughs> I haven't been reading a whole lot yet, but I have listened to an hour and seven minutes of Firestarter in double speed, obviously. So I have that's what I've been reading so far, and I hope I'll be able to read something um, over the next day, but I'm just arrived at my sister's house so I'm going to be spending the night here I think and yeah so we'll see how much reading I get in maybe I'll read something before bed and maybe tomorrow morning but I don't know about that yet we'll have to see I'll let you know in the morning when I leave again and yeah bye hello friends it is now Tuesday evening at about 10 p.m and I didn't check in this morning because I hadn't been reading much. I hadn't been reading anything apart from the audio, so I didn't feel like I have any, had anything new to add. I've been listening a little bit more to the audio today, so I'm now about 25% through Firestarter, and I'm still a little bit confused as to what is going on. But on the on the on the good side, it is definitely becoming more interesting than it was at first. But yeah, I. the thing is, I feel like I never know anything about Stephen King's books before going into them because I think it's nice discovering it on your own, not necessarily know, knowing much about them. Um, but when I went into this, I think so far it's something to do with a, a secret project I think it's gone wrong where these two this man and a woman has had a baby and this baby I feel like she can put things on fire out of will but yeah that's what I figure um but I'm not sure exactly what else to say right now 25% in which means it's about I think it's about 500 pages long so yeah, it's actually about 150 pages, I think. And that around that many pages, and I'm still not really sure what's going on. <laughs> wow. Well done, me. I hope that I will get more into it as time passes. Either that, or I'll need to do something else so that I can figure out what is going on. <laughs> um, yeah. But right now, I'm planning on starting a. One of my ebooks, I'm planning on probably going with Red Fox because I know that's the least scary, possibly the least scary of the books and the easiest to read, maybe. Um, and since I'm just going to bed, I don't think I want to read something that's too scary so that I can't sleep or something stupid like that. Um, and then we'll see. This is my update for now. I'll let you know later what I managed to read. Hello, friends. If it wasn't because I know it, you wouldn't think that this is another day. Same place as yesterday. Uh -uh. But yeah, decided to do an update before I fall asleep. Um, today I managed to get to, I think, about halfway through. I forgot to check up exactly where I was. But I know before I went home from work that I was on about the 35 to 40 ish mark and I'm enjoying it it's definitely interesting in what is happening right now so that makes it better than it was before um, so yeah uh, apart from that I read the first <laughs> two chapters in Fox Red Fox um, by Karen Harley. This is <laughs> the thing I liked about the first book was the ghosts and the ghost hunting, and I found that to be well done and pretty creepy. Um, what I hated was when there was no ghostly th things happening, and it dragged it down a lot. And so far. This is has, has, the, the first two chapters annoyed me, and then I noticed there were some editorial mistakes, which I figure I don't know if it's self-published actually, it might be. If it wasn't, 
than just bad editorial work. Um, if it was self-published, then she should consider getting an editor to check her th things out before she publishes it in some way. Someone else to proofread it for her because there were some typos and like it sometimes seems like there was an autocorrect, like a, a completely different word that seemed to have moved <laughs> the letters around or something. I don't know. Um, but so far what's happened is that we back with the main character who I forgot her name right now. She is right where we left off. They get a deal with someone where they have to film um, ghostly places like places that uh, has been set there haunted um, and try to make it look like that something is happening um, like why even though that the main character does know that something is happening like this is for real and it's super scary um, but no, no one really believes it that this happens so, so they want great acting and stuff to make it seem more realistic and get some more views on YouTube. Um, but the main character is so annoying. Um, she's just... I, I don't like the way she... She's lying to her family because she was fired from a job, so she just pretends that she still have it. And keeps lying to their parents whenever they ask her about the job and whenever whenever they comment, well, are you sure? You, did you get off from work for that? And then she was like, yeah, sure, I did, because she has this part-time job as um, doing these videos for YouTube. So yeah, that was a little annoying. But I think things are gonna pick up soon because she's going to be traveling to the place where they're going to be doing the doing the ghost hunting and then hopefully it will pick up. Apart from that, I also read the first 44 or 45 pages of Dracula. I <laughs> I took some time finding an audio that I could listen to. Uh, there were like five or six different English narrated audios and then there were two to three Danish ones. But I wanted an English one because my copy of Dracula is in English as well, so so that I can follow along. I needed to get an English one that worked with me. Um, two of them were uh, on a was a bridge versions where the the audio was like about four hours long, which is not enough for a book that size with that type of font. <laughs> like it's about I think it's about four hundred pages long in my edition. And the font is really tiny. That's also one of the reasons why I'm not reading it. Because I would never get through it. Um, it's not as... It's it's sort of as I expected Dracula to be. The tone and the style and what is happening. But it's not as dry as I feared. Like Classics tend to be difficult for me to get through. Because I think often it can be a little bit boring. But maybe that's just how I would perceive it before so I am trying to read more classics um, and some I've thought about going back and rereading to figure out if I've changed my opinions what I liked it so far it's interesting hopefully tomorrow I'll see something else than me lying in my bed on my way to bed on my way to sleep uh, but yeah so I did read a total of 28 pages of my Kindle, 45 pages of my Dracula book, and then I say about 25% of my audio. Maybe it's only 20. But yeah, I feel like that's okay, sort of, so far. And I will see if I get some extra reading in at work tomorrow. So we'll see if I can manage some more. I've had a couple of busy days where I've had to write a lot of emails and then I don't listen to audios. Um, there's, there's specific times when I listen to audios at work because I need to do some specific things in order to be able to pay attention to the audio, if you will. Um, so yeah, but this was my update. I will see you later.
Bye. Good morning. It is Friday of the readathon. Um, <laughs> that was just a traffic um, announcement, so I was just uh, thinking maybe it was something to do with me. It wasn't so. Anyway, I am a little running a little late. I didn't read very much yesterday, so yeah. But I am. I hope to uh, be able to finish uh, Firestarter today, maybe, but I'm not sure. It depends a lot on how much I read at work today because I think I have two and a half hours left. But I'll definitely get through an hour of it and then we'll see if I have an hour and a half time to read at work. But that is my update for now. I will see you later. Hello, it's Saturday morning, um, about 9.30ish. Um, I just have been reading for the past, I want to say two hours or something like that. And I'm about a third of the way through the fo Red Fox right now and yeah I'm not I'm not as into this one as I was at the first one so far even though things have started to happen for sure and things are usually more interesting when things are happening because I don't really like the characters very much um but I'm um I'm going to keep on reading I think and see what will happen later um right now I'm getting breakfast and then I'll going to meet up with my sister in town and we're gonna go shopping for a little bit and then later I'll need to do stuff here at home so I'll be listening to a lot of Dracula I think as I clean as I do laundry and all of that good stuff and then we'll see what happens um yeah those are my plans for now yesterday I'm only read a chapter or something of uh, that's the dead zone. Um, even though I'm really enjoying it, it I we were a lot of people at my parents' place, and I didn't have much more time to actually sit down and read it. Um, but yeah, that was my update for now. I will check in with you later. Bye. Hello, friends. It is now Sunday evening. I think around ten thirty, ten, eleven ish. Um. For some reason, I can't really fall asleep right now, but I'm trying to. And today, I have read a little more in Red Fox. I'm about halfway through it now, and it's definitely interesting, but yeah, not not the best. <laughs> um, apart from that, I have listened to a little bit of Dracula, but not very much. I had a lot of plans this weekend to get a lot of the things read, but. I didn't, all sorts of other things, and I listened to a lot of music and documentaries and stuff like that. Not listened to it, but watched a lot of documentaries. This evening I watched a memorial sort of concert for Kim Larson, who is, or was, past tense now, um, the greatest Danish musician of all time, I'd say. He means a lot to us Danes. A lot more than I think that he ever knew, but um, he always had so like out shows and he's been at the top of the music charts. I won't say that he's on top of the music charts so much now as he was back in the 70s when he came out with gasoline and later on his, in his solo career, but he always had sold out shows and he was always sold a lot of albums regardless. And he was also the first thing I bought myself back when I was, I can't remember if I, I was six, seven or eight, but it was that time period. We were at these school trips and listened to songs and we had this, um, yeah, in, in the evenings we had this sort of party, um, I mean a kid's worthy party, <laughs> uh, and they played a song called Jutlandia, which is a song about 
it's a war song and it's about this ship hospital ship that served in the Korean War um, a Danish hospital ship and for some reason when I listened to that song back then I just wanted um, an album with this song on it and I ended up buying a greatest hits I didn't know it was a greatest hits at the time but I knew that it had that song on it as the first one <laughs> so I bought it and it has like so many great songs on there but Yudlandia is still my favorite song of his even though it's a war song it's just really epically written and I like music and then it has the nostalgia um yeah but so that was a little weird bye hello friends it is now um, Tuesday week two of books in the freezer readathon and I have finished Firestarter. I fin finished that yesterday and I am on page 102 of about 380 pages of Dracula. So I'm making a little bit of progress in that one as well and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's not... I mean, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. I was very apprehensive about it but luckily this one has been okay so far and but I'm not super scared and I don't know if that's wrong maybe that will come it's more like quiet eeriness maybe but I'm not totally scared um, apart from that I am about halfway through uh, Red Fox I don't know if I updated on that but I haven't read anything from that since Sunday. I know I didn't update yesterday, but yesterday I was busy. I had to go visit my friend who has recently become a dad and meet his daughter. And so I wasn't home until a little late and didn't really read much. Um, after I came home, I just watched some TV and stuff. So yeah, but I have made a little progress in Dracula today and that is it. I hope that I will definitely finish this over the next week. Um, but I think I'll be listening to some out. I've been so tired the last couple of days that I haven't felt like I could listen to an audio while I was driving. Um, and sometimes voices uh, like that can sort of make you sleepy. <laughs> and that's not a good idea when you're driving. So I've been listening to music instead. And that has worked well for me since I've been tired. But I've been listening to audios at work so but I have been listening to Dracula at work today that's where I listen to it and that's probably how I'm gonna do it over the next couple of days because I have to body read a book that is not part of the freezer readathon thing so I'm going to be starting that now and yeah um but my plan is I will finish this before this weekend this week is over um, so that I can have at least two books finished for this readathon and possibly maybe three with Red Fox. I have been trying to get to reading um, one of my ebook graphic novels. There's one that's called Gunner Creek Court, which I think, which is a sort of gothic graphic novel thing, and it's a really long one as well. And I tried, tried reading it, but for some reason it's not loading all of the pages. And I don't know what to do. If you have any, if you've ever been reading from um, iBooks on your iPad or something and had issues loading um, pages, if it's graphic novels and whole pages, um, how, how do you correct it and make it work? I have had issues with that, but yeah, let me know about that. And yeah, this is my update for now. I will see you later. Bye. Good morning. It's not easy making these videos in the car any longer because it's dark in the morning when I leave for work. Um, but I decided because I haven't been, speak been doing an update for yesterday and the day before <laughs> again. Uh, I decided to do a short update. It's Friday and I didn't read very much, but I'm about halfway, a little over halfway through Dracula now. And that's what I've been working on, the only thing. Um, apart from that, I haven't really been 
doing uh, much of anything um, when it comes to reading, but um, I'm looking forward to finishing it hopefully soon ish. Um, like, I think, um, I don't think I'll finish it today, but we'll see. I'll definitely be listening to some parts of it um, when I work today. Um, but how much I'm gonna get through, I'm not sure. But otherwise, I'll definitely finish it over the weekend. I also hope to finish some of the other books, but we'll see. Um, this is my update for now. I'll see you later. Hello, friends. It is now almost like 10.40 p.m. And still Friday. And... I've been listening to a little bit of Dracula, but I haven't been doing much else. I've read a little bit of The Dead Zone by Stephen King today, like, I don't know, 20 pages, possibly? Like, that amount. <laughs> and I just came back from the cinema. Went to watch the movie, and the Danish title is Journal, oh, Journal 64, Journal 43. Uh, which is the Danish way to say it, and it is the adaptation of the fourth book in the Department Q series. It will be the last one that they adapt because you see the author of the series is not completely happy with how it's been going. He signed a contract for the first four books because those were the books that were, I guess, uh, published at the time when this was first uh when this whole project first started and he hasn't been completely happy so hasn't renewed the the contract so that we can, the the next books will not be adapted at least not from that production company and i can sort of see why because there's definitely a lot of things that are different in the movies they've been changed quite a lot to fit the tv medium a, a lot better and um, some of it, I uh, there's definitely some parts of it that I miss, but I think that some other parts are done really well. I think the the connection between Carl and Asset and and Rose, the the investigation team, is pretty well done. If you don't know, The Pattern Q is a series that follows a detective team that called that's called The Pattern Q, and they solve cold cases. And so this one actually went back to a time period that is um, something that happened in real life, like back in the beginning of um, the century, last century, back, back in the, I think it was between 1920 or something until 1968 and 11,000 women who went to this home in in this small island um, were sterilized um, because they were the lower part of the society. They were not, they people wouldn't want them to have babies and get more um, the genetics into other people. So that was quite horrible that that went on here in Denmark. Like, it's a long time ago, but then this case had something to do with that part. Um, and yeah, it was interesting and they definitely changed things a lot compared to how it went in the book. And But it was still a pretty decent movie, I think, for the most part. Like, it was a good thriller, but if if you hadn't read the book. But if you have read the book, then you'll be disappointed. There's no chance you can't be completely satisfied because it's not the same. So they had some freedoms and it was the last movie. So I don't know if that's why they did it. Um, but yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm not completely disappointed because I go into this expecting it not to be the same as the, as the books. Because the other three movies has not been the same as the books. The books have always been better. Um, but... Yeah, um, but they're still pretty decent movies. Like, yeah. So, that's my update for now. We'll see how I do tomorrow. I will 
at least it's the weekend now and I will have to I will be able to sleep in a little bit I think tomorrow so I can or sleep. <laughs> yeah, I can read in the in the morning, I think. I hope that I'll finish some books tomorrow. That's my aim. So we'll see how that goes. See ya. Hi friends. It is Saturday evening. I'm not sure if I did a update um, today yet, but I've spent the majority of the day elsewhere. <laughs> um, I read, I feel like I only read like one chapter, but it was a long chapter, a really long chapter, I don't know. I'm 70% through um, Red Fox now, so I think that's pretty decent. <laughs> but, but the thing is, uh, with that specific book, it is quite slow. It it has a lot of filler stuff that I don't really find necessary in this type of book. I want a little more pacing, the pacing to be better. Um, so that's a little annoying. Um, I really need to do something about my face. It's so ready and splotched. Anyway. Um, I hope that I will finish that book tomorrow. Um, I have like a hundred pages left on the Kindle. But otherwise today I went um, for a gym session, which is something that I do three times a week. So I at least try to get out three times a week to the gym. And today we added some new um, sessions, it's, I don't know what you call it, um, and yeah, that was a really little tough. Um, I also went to visit, visit my sister with my, like, both of my other siblings and my dad. We went there for, like, afternoon, and it was a really, really nice weather today, like, summery. I think I've mentioned that it's supposed to be like that, and so did that, went for a walk, um, got home to my parents, I watched a football match, and it's now like 11.30, so close to midnight on Saturday, and so I only have tomorrow left. Now I'm gonna go to bed, I'm a little tired, we'll see when I wake up tomorrow, and I'll get reading, hopefully I'll finish that book, and I didn't listen to anything of Dracula today, because I I thought I would listen to the Dracula audio as I was driving to my sister's house, but my other sister was, I picked up my other sister and she obviously hasn't been listening to it and she, yeah, I, she would probably be talking anyway, so I wouldn't have been able to listen to it anyway. So that's a little annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you tomorrow on the last day of the books in the freezer where I've read one book so far. Yeah. Hopefully I'll finish two. <laughs> and yeah, bye. Good morning. It is now Sunday and it is 10.30 a.m. I read for an hour of Red Fox and I have about 50 pages left. Um, I'd say has been better the last 50 pages than before but I'm still not super enjoying it right I had breakfast and now I'm planning on going out um, for a walk it's gonna be really nice weather again today that's why I have my blind shut because I have the Sun directly in my living room right now and so I'm gonna listen to Dracula while I go for a walk and when I get back I I would like to finish that book today as well as well as Red Fox. I think another hour of Red Fox and I'll finish it and that will be good. But this is my update for now. I'm gonna go for a walk and I will see you later. Bye. Hello. It is now I'd say two. I don't know. I have been doing some cross stitching and listening to Dracula alongside. Um, I am now this far into it. So 
and honestly, I mean, it's not they're terribly bad. It's just I've never been good at um, classics for some reason. And this one is also written in diary form, which has never been my favorite type of style. I always find it a little bit boring. I don't know. It never really seemed to engage me in the same way that it might do others. But otherwise, I'm enjoying the story. It's pretty classic Dracula um, and things are definitely happening right now. And as I said, I've been listening a little bit while I was doing some cross-stitching, which so far looks like this. So not very um, <laughs> telling. Um, it's going to be en end up looking like this. So it's a tiger and piglet. Um, I actually bought this the minute I figured out my sister was pregnant to have uh, my nephew. Um, but for some reason I never really got into into making this. So the only things that I've done today is actually the dark brown at the bottom. Not not the long stretch at the, that goes up, but the two sides like this and on and um, that part. Um, which are um, Tigger's feet, um, part of it. Um, and the reason that I didn't do it is because usually, like this is a bundle filled with different, I don't have that divider thing. Usually we'll have the divider that says this is that type of color. So I have to figure out um, what is what and, and, and there's so many, like, there's one thing that's called light brown, medium dark brown, pale green, light blue, dark gray, medium peach. And sometimes when I look at it and what it looks like on this, I was like, that is medium peach. Like, it doesn't make sense. Medium green, medium rust, medium blue, medium bright pink. I mean, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to figure it out according to this and sort of um, trying to compare it to the ones I have in the bundle that it's supposed to be in because it was divided in three bundles. Like this, I've divided into um, like sort of brownish, brown shades <laughs> and colored shades like this and all of the green ones because I guess I'm gonna need a lot of green when I get to the top part of it. There's a lot of green up there. Um, and I might do the same thing with these, but I'm not sure, I don't know, I think some of these are not part of the same bundle, I'm not sure. But if you can see what I've been doing before, which I, I'm a lot further with my other type of <laughs> cross stitching project, I want to finish this one for my nephew at some point. <laughs> So that's why I started on it now, again, because I think this time of year is the perfect time to sit and cross stitch. I have three different, one of them is complete, I think. I, my, the majority of my motifs are Christmassy motifs because I always do them at this time of year. This is the one that's complete with Santa and his house. Um, the other one I have is this one, and I can show you. I'm pretty far into that. I'm close to finishing that. It's just all of the boring parts. Um, I hate it when I get to that part where I have to switch threads all the freaking time. This is how far I am with this one. So you can say that's not a whole lot left to do. I'm not completely sure what I need still. It's another Christmas one, and it's supposed to look like Okay, that's upside down. It's supposed to look like this when it's complete. So I really love the coziness of this picture. And this is how far I am. So, yeah, I've made the, the Christmas tree and the windows. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what um, to start on next, but I haven't been doing anything from this one in a couple of years because I wanted to finish the other one. And then I had this one, but I will get back to this uh, when I'm completed. I've completed the other two. I can't wait to finish that one because I think it's so pretty. But I did finish this one, 
So I'm happy about that. I just need to have it um, put this something behind this so I can hang it up um, for Christmas this year. And yeah, so that was that. Now I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping and then we'll see what else I did. I will probably go back to cross stitch a bit because it's a nice way of listening to an audio while I do that. Um, so yeah, now you know about that part of my life. <laughs> Hello friends, I managed to finish one more book and that was Red Fox. I just finished it and now I'm going to be watching a movie because 50 years ago the first movie in this series of 14 movies <laughs> um, reached the cinema and it's to date some of the most beloved videos of all time and this one is the most famous one also outside of Denmark where there's a specific scene in the Royal Theatre where they're trying to break through and yeah this if you don't know <laughs> is uh, the Olsen gang or the Olsen Benton is the Danish um, word for it or name and it follows three this gang of three people it's led by Egon who is the leader of the group he is like this he has a big big plan it's all planned out timed to perfection everything down to the smallest detail then we have the two other members of the gang um, Benny who is like this goofy kind of uh, feel-good character he is trying to make it a lot more funny than it is supposed to be and he um, yeah he's always in charge of the cars and stuff and never fills up gas so they always end up not getting very far with their plans and then we have Kill, who is like the shy one, the little the, the little scaredy cat of the of them all, and sort of has has a difficult time, um, yeah, uh, doing his thing, um, and always sort of messes up in a way, and because he's a little scared of what's going to come of it, um, but yeah, uh, and behind all. <laughs> In all great movies, there's also a great woman, and that is um, Yvonne, who is Kel's uh, wife, and she is something. <laughs> uh, she has like the best monologues sometimes, like so amazing. She was a great actor, and she um, she's definitely the dominant one of the group and really gives a lot of roles to the characters it's so funny and yeah um so i love these movies and now i'm gonna see watch olsen ben Serut, the olsen gang sees red i know that all of like the majority of the movies were very pop very popular in eastern germany back in the day when it was divided and also in Sweden and Norway and I don't know how how many have been watching it but yeah I'm gonna watch it now um, because it's showed on TV so I'm like I always, I always watch them when they're showed on TV because they're just feel-good movies and yeah very funny so I don't think I'll be finishing more today. I finished Red Fox. I'll probably give it a two and a half stars. That will probably be my rating. I don't, I didn't love it, <laughs> as the rating suggests. It put a little too much focus on something that was, that was a little unnecessary. So it kept a lot of the scary stuff out, and and then by the end of it, it wasn't super well done with the whole thing, but. I do have the next one as well as I bought books two and three at the same time because they're both on sale and so I'll be reading that before I make my decision about the whole series, the series as a whole. It's a nine book series so there's still quite a lot of books. I think it's self-published but I'm not sure so I don't know if that's why some of it wasn't left 
edit it out. That's sometimes something that you can see if you read self-published stuff that they don't see um, the same things as an editor might see. Even though I also enjoy self-published books a lot from time to time, that's just that thing. Um, but yeah, this was my update for now. I don't know if I'll be doing another update. Um, I think it was be this will be my last one, so yeah, I'll see you later.